last time Oregon silverspot butterflies were seen in the Long Beach area was 1991. Uh, and then a few years after that, it was the last observation down in the Clatsop Plains in Oregon. We're trying to eventually get enough habitat on the landscape that we can reintroduce the Oregon silverspot butterfly. We collected seed in the local area and then grew those uh, plants down in Corvallis. And they produced seed that then went to Oregon Zoo. Volunteers at the Oregon Zoo, uh, through their conservation program, uh, grew a, a violet plants for us. These are Viola adanka and violets. If that's what you want to call them, that's fine. They are the host plant to the Oregon silver spot butterfly. And at this point, they have come up since, since uh, January, February, March, whenever this particular plant was seeded. We're hoping that these plants can go in the ground real soon at Willapaw. The caterpillars eat our leaves, and when they become butterflies, they then will come back to the same plants and lay their eggs. We have just received those and we're going to be planting those uh, this weekend. put them in in paper bags and we give them little strips of paper towels and these act as leaf litter as um, which is what the females like to lay their eggs on out in the wild. We'll go through the bags, we'll take out each little strip of paper towel and we'll cut off the little eggs that we find. Put them in these petri dishes and we put up to 10 in each petri dish. The larvae, when they hatch, they eat their eggshell and then they, they want to take shelter. So we put, put this little thing that we call a yurt away from the light and then they eventually crawl underneath it. And over winter, they've got all their nutrition from, from the egg casing that they ate. They'll start emerging from their yurts, they'll be hungry, and we'll start feeding them their host plant, which is the violet plant. Uh, so they start to pupate late July and early August. And we have been sending them out to the field as pupa. They continue to mature and hopefully emerge as butterflies. So the idea is we'd like to expand the population back into its former range. And to do that, we have to have enough food basically on the landscape to support the butterflies. Uh, probably two or three years at the best before we can maybe do an, a, an experimental reintroduction here. Of the butterfly. Of the butterfly. Um, these plants are host specific food for the caterpillars. So the caterpillars, uh, once the eggs are laid, they hatch out and they feed on the leaves of these violets. This is the only food they eat. So they're very important, obviously, for um, reestablishing the butterflies. Mm -hmm. 